Okay. So today we talk about uh, uh, the age. Uh, basically, it's a mix of uh, parallel and uh, series. So, uh, in the book, it says uh, uh, circuits wired partially in series and partially in parallel. All right, so, I will call it combination of series and parallel wiring. Okay, uh, not much theory. You know, actually the theory, uh, if you understand each one, uh, series, and uh, all the parallel, so you don't have problem to deal with uh, a combination of them. So let's just jump to uh, examples. Uh, see if we have an example like this. So this is a battery, uh, 24 volts. Okay, let's make this the V equals 24, and of course the uh, positive here, negative here. Uh, then we have a resistance. Now in the book they they draw like the resistance like this, and uh, it's equivalent to doing a box. So, like I like to do this way. Same thing. Yeah, same thing. It's just a symbol. Uh, you, you know, it's a resistance. And actually, it's uh, uh, if you draw like the, uh, the as the book did, it's very similar to a real resistance uh, on your stove, right? Maybe you know, not sure. Uh, sometimes. Okay. So if this is R one. Uh, it equals 110 ohm and then we have another one so this is R2 and then uh, it's equals 180 ohm and this is R3 and equals oh sorry yeah R3 220 ohm and uh, there another one of make it R4 so equals 220 ohm this one 180 so let's make it a bigger 180 so this is ohm so this is like this. Uh, uh, obviously you can tell uh, it's a combination of series. You can see uh, R3 and R4. So you can, so R3 and R4 in series. Okay, and then what is the combination of uh, uh, the, it's equivalent resistance so we put a R three four. So R three four means what's the combined resistance of R three and R four? Uh, you can call it equivalent resistance or combined or of these two. Uh, now since they're in series, so you just simply add them up. So R three plus R four, and add these two up, and it should equal four hundred seventy. Okay, now, uh, if you do this, basically, uh, you can treat the, uh, the circuit as equivalent to this. Okay, let's just take this two away and replace the with the combined one. Okay, we, we replace the with the combined, we call it R, 3, 4. Okay? R, 3, 4. Okay? And how much 
much of this? We calculate it. So it equals 470 ohm. Okay, now if you look at the new one, the new circuit, uh, it's actually you can call it simplified or equivalent. And then look at this too. And uh, you can see the R2 and R34. So what's the relation between the R2 and the combined so-called R34? In parallel. In parallel. Okay, and then to calculate the R2 uh, and uh, uh, let's combine the, uh, calculate the combined resistance of these two. So let's call it R234. So it should equal like this. And on the bottom is like 1 over R2 plus 1 over R34 like this, right? And if you calculate this... I got 130.15. Oh, you're so fast. Yep. Really? Yep. Good. Oh, I agree. Okay. So, yeah, so you got a 130 ohm. That's really correct. What? That's correct. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh you didn't believe yourself? <laughs> no, you said incorrect. I'm like, what? No, I said it's correct. <laughs> yeah, now, okay, notice, notice this. Uh, if you calculate the, con the equivalent resistance of two parallel, now you can see your result is always going to be less than either of them. Okay, so 130 is less than uh, 180, of course, less than 470. So it's always smaller. So the equivalent one is always smaller uh, uh, then even the, s the smaller one of these two. Okay, th since the R34 is the equivalent resistance of these two, now let's replace with this. Okay, let's replace the total here with the R34. And then again, uh, we're going to have uh, so just construct an one more. And then we can take all this out. Take all this out. And of course, I need to change something. OK, let's change this to a big one. Now, actually, not necessarily bigger. You can see it's actually smaller, right? Uh, but uh, so this one becomes R, 2, 3, and it equals 130 ohm. Okay, so each one they're equivalent. So you should understand each one they're equivalent. Okay, finally, the R1 and the R234, they are in series, obviously. So R1 and R2 in series. And the total, and the final is the R, the R total, we call it 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, that's a, the way I, I like to use. I just put a, whatever the number, put them together and uh, to, uh, to indicate that's the equivalent of uh, this many. And of course, it equals R1 plus R234. And finally, it equals uh, 240. 240 ohm. Right? And you can still draw an uh, equivalent one. So let's, let's just do another one, final one. Okay, so finally, we got this. And of course, I need to take this out. Right, so this, this is gone. And I only got one left. I got one, two, three, four equals 240 ohm. Okay, the purpose is uh, to do this kind of equivalency uh, of all the different circuits. You know, you really understand the relation 
between each resistance. Okay, so the four circuits here, they are all equivalent. Equivalent. Oh. Okay, equivalent and equivalent. Right, they're all equivalent. And finally equivalent to this. Uh, for this kind of question, now you can see the, uh, the R123. R one, two, three, four. Now you can call the total resistance. Or you can uh, call the equivalent. Resistance. Right? So that's the uh, reason of all, all the resistance. And then, uh, for now, you can calculate the current here. So this is I. So the I is actually the, the total current going through the main uh, circuit. So the I is going to be uh, V over R1234. So equals 24 over 240. Uh, the numbers there are very nice, 24 volts, and this is 240 ohm, so you should get 0 0.10 amp, right? The nice numbers. Okay, and then we can come back to uh, to find out uh, everything else. For example, yes? I can read what you said, I is current loads, P. Pardon me? P is P. P, uh, P is used for power. Okay, so what is the question asking for? Uh, first of all, you need to understand the circuit, and then let's do something. Okay, so the if the question asking for I1, I2, and I3, now I3 is actually the same, uh, the current going through the R three and R four, they're the same. So, so no need to uh, to ask for another current going through R four, right? So yes, R one, I one, I two, I three. Now, how to do this kind of question? Okay, it's not that easy. And if you look at this, you can see uh, this is I I two, and this is exactly same I three, right? But if you look at this, so going through this one is what? What is this? Is this I1, I2, I3? It's I1. Yeah, but it's equals I1, right? Do you see that? So this is I1. So because this is combined, so you need to understand the relation. And of course, this is I1 as well. So let's just uh, put the I1 back. Okay? Now, we kind of need to go backwards, work backwards to find out I2, I3. And if you can find out I2, I3, let's go back to the initial graph. Uh, if you can find uh, the I2 and I3, and uh, nothing else like we cannot find out. For example, what's the voltage on R2? You just use I2 times R2, right? And uh, what's the voltage on R3? You just use I3 times R3. R3. Or what's the voltage on the R4? You can use I3 times R4. And also the power. The question also sometimes came for power, just like this quiz you, quiz you did, right? And uh, since you find the I, and also you know all the R, no problem to find the power, okay? Basically, we can see, oh, I solved the circuit completely. Like, whatever you ask me for, I can give you, okay? So now the job is to find I2 and I3, okay? And find I2, I3, so how would you do this? Uh, let me uh, hear someone uh, give some input. How to go ahead and find out I2, I3, what's your strategy? I I equals V over R. Okay, so uh, to find out I2, uh, 
I don't know why I can't change the color now. Okay, so uh, you mean you can you can get the i to here equals what? Um, you can b over r b over r two. B over r two. Can I do this? So well, how much is the v? Uh, v doesn't change. It's Why it doesn't change? B why why do you think you can use the the twenty four and then divide by one eighty? Is that what you're thinking? Okay, now I can tell you very, this is a common mistake. mistake. Okay, so this is wrong. Now I'm going to see this over and over again on the quest test. A lot of people, they always think the voltage is the same. No. Okay, the voltage, the 24, the 24 is actually, if you look at this graph, let's look at this third graph. Okay. The voltage on the R1 and the voltage on the R234 equals the V. Okay, so basically you have this relation. So V1 plus V234 should equal the V. Okay, now of course the V1 means the voltage on the R1. V234 means the voltage on the R234, right? That would be right. And then come back. This is not right. I'm going to erase so I need a space. Okay. Uh, now, everything I'm talking now is recorded. I'm recording. So don't worry. So you can see the video. Uh, oh, YouTube has a limit of 10 minutes. Oh, but don't worry. Rules are meant to be broken. Oh, I have a full <laughs> account. <laughs> Okay, yes, every, everyone is talking, it recorded, okay? Uh, be careful what you're talking about. Still, you have to control. Uh, no, okay, I can I can record as, as long as I want because I have a pro account, and also my YouTube account can uh, take like one hour. Oh, can you please? Yeah, uh, later, not now, okay? Save time. Uh, so basically, we try to find out the voltage here. Uh, let's let's come back to here. Come back, maybe easier to to figure out the voltage here. Okay, to find out, we need this. We need the V two three four. Is that right? And can V one? Yes. Yeah, V one is easily. Okay, so we can V one just simply equals I one R one, right? So then we can find the V two three four equals the V minus the V1, V1 which equals I1 times R1. Correct? Yep. Okay, so this is 24 minus I1 is 0 0.1 and the R1 equals uh, 1, 1, 0. Okay, so if you calculate, so this would be 11. So 24 minus 11, that's 13. Right, 13 V. Of course. Okay, so the total, your total is 24. That's your uh, source of power. That's the total. And then all the voltage added together can only equal to it. It won't be smaller than, than this, and it won't be greater than this and equal to this. Okay? Now that's the concept we introduced when we talk about series, right? In a series circuit, this is a series circuit. The voltage add together equals the total. Okay. Uh, actually, we did, we find out this first, and then we're gonna use this information uh, here. Okay. So now, since we already got the voltage across this both of them. So basically the V2, uh, V actually V3, 4. Okay, the total vi voltage here, the total voltage here should equal the total voltage on the, voltage on the R2. Now because these two they're in series, 
right? You understand? Is this is in series. Uh, maybe, yeah, we can come to here or come to here. It's easy, uh, same thing. So they're both equal one, uh, 13 volts, correct? Any questions so far? Or you can, you can do this way. So the V23 equals the V2 and actually equals uh, 13 volts, right? Doesn't matter, you can actually find the current here, it doesn't matter, okay? So you can see, since all the circuits are equivalent now, right, just one is more simplified than the other. Okay, now to find out the current I2, very simple now, since we already know the V2, so we just use V2 divided by R2. Okay, so this is 13 volts divided by 180 ohm. And then we can calculate 13 divided by 180. So you get a 0 0.072 amp. Okay, and then I3, now be careful about I3. I3 equals the V34. Uh, That's the total voltage on, on, on the two, uh, two resistance. So then you have to divide by the total resistance of the R3 and the 4. Okay, you have to do this way. So then you should have used a 13 volt, that's the same. And R34 equals uh, 470 ohm. And if you do this, you get a 13 divided by 470 and equals uh, 0.028 amp. Okay, and now look at this two number. You can actually verify uh, that. Uh, I2 plus I3, yeah, add this together. You can see added together, they're supposed to equal the I1. You can verify that. And it's true, right? So you can verify that I2 plus I3 is actually equal 0. Uh, uh, now basically, uh, Right, you add these two, they're equal. And now that's actually implied that you don't have to find I3 this way, okay? The other way is uh, we can just take this out. We already verified, so don't worry about this. And actually another way uh, to find out I3, you can just use I1 minus I3. Uh, two, so that would be 0 0.1 minus 0 0.072 and equals 0 0.028 m. So this is just uh, uh, you know alternate way. Uh, because this two is in parallel. Look at this circuit, it's easy to understand. So because R2, R2 and R34, they are in parallel. They have the same voltage, look at here. So the voltage, uh, their voltage is determined by these two points. And it seems they share the same points, right? I know that's what I said. To understand the, the combination of series and parallel, you need to understand uh, Parallel, now what's the feature of parallel circuits? And what's the feature of the uh, series feet, uh, pa uh, circuits? Yes? Uh, so, uh, can you just ignore R3 more? And you can see R1 and R2 are in series. In cannot. They're not in series, okay? So if they're in series, means their current is the same. But obviously the current is not the same. So the R1, look at here. 
let's look, go to the initial graph. The I1, the current going through into this point, they were split. Okay, split the current, what part of the current going through the R2 and part of the current going through here. So this is I2, this is I3, right? So the current, you can't ignore because uh, this, this branch is going to take away some of the current, some of the energy. How can you ignore it? No, they are not in series. But after this two combined, okay, say after all the three combined, right here, R2, 3, 4, after they all combine into one, yes, now they are in series. Okay, that's why they have the same current. Because this I1 is actually the equals I2 plus I3, right? So this one is actually equals I2 plus I3. Now they are in series. So you can see this kind of question, if you completely understand this question, then you should be able to do any other questions. Okay? So, okay. Uh, let's look at the book. You turn to the book to uh, uh, page 64, 158. Number 58. Uh, now this time, the question only asks you to find the equivalent resistance between the point A and B. Okay, uh, but uh, can you do the same thing about the current though? Uh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Oh, is this series within a series? Yeah, yes, yes. So this one uh, is like this. Let me try to draw a nice graph. Question, please. Fifty-eight. Yeah.
Okay, you know, this time I, I need to draw a bunch of them, and, uh, you know, uh, but you need to understand, I'm going to make the, a list here. So, first of all, we need to understand the R3, R4, R5, now can you see the label here, 2, 3, 4? It's not very good, but it should be a bit. So, all the three, they're in series, right? You understand? All the three. Now, because you just, if you uh, sometimes get confused, just see, do they have the same current going through? Yes. Look at here. If the current goes through R3, there's no way to go. They have to go through R4, and no way to go, they have to go through R5. See, they have the same current. They must be in series. Okay? But that's not always true. Okay? Sometimes the two parallel, they always also in the uh, same current. But this one is no, uh, no doubt they're going to have the same current, right? They're just in series together. So then the R, 3, 4, 5, you can just combine as 1. Uh, so they should just equal how much? 6 ohm. Okay, now this time uh, let's do this way, okay? Let's take this two out. Now uh, because it's a video recorder, so everything is recorded. I take this out and take this out and then combine them. So I put a, I connect the lines and then I'm gonna change this to Okay, I'm gonna change this to R three four five equals six ohm. Right? So I'm gonna step by step to simplify the circuit. Okay now uh, the R six and R three four five they're in parallel. Okay, now since they're in parallel, you can find out the R uh, three, four, five, six. Okay, combine this two. Combine this two, you should have just do uh, one and uh, one over R three R six plus one over R uh, three four five, right? And then if you do this, if you calculate this, so one one over three plus one over six. So this one should give you two ohm, right? If you do the mental math, you can see this is actually two over six. Two over six plus this get a three over six, and it's one over two, and a flip over equals two. So the answer should be uh, 2 ohm. Okay, now let's further simplify. Now since this two are, uh, combined uh, equals 2 ohm, so let's take them out. Okay, uh, take them out and this one becomes So this one becomes R3456 equals 2 ohm. And then uh, just follow, follow the logic, and now you can see the R2 and R3456, and they're in, pair, in series. Okay, and then if you combine them, uh, just add them up. So then R uh, two. Okay, let's write this way: two two six. Uh, just simply equals R two plus the R uh, three four five six equals eight ohm. Okay, I think the answer should be a good number. Okay, after this, 
uh, after this, and then you just combine them, right? You're going to combine them. Uh, again, let's take this out. And this one, we change this to 226. And then this one equals 8. Okay, then this two, and then the R seven, and the R two to six, they're in parallel. And since they're in parallel, you can find out the R two to seven equals. And equals one over, and here is one over r r seven plus one over r two to six. Okay. And then one over here is one over four plus 1 over 8. Oh, this one is not going to give you a good number. So you should be able to figure out this is actually 8 over 3. Uh, let's just keep the 8 over 3 here. Okay, and finally, you can again erase this. You can erase this. Uh, you can take this out. And then simply change this to uh, R27 and then now uh, this is not an 8 ohm it's 8 over 3 right and finally you just added this 2 right and then finally the total uh, so finally the total is going to be like this Okay, the final the total the R R one two seven is R one plus R two two seven so equals two ohm plus eight over three ohm. Okay, this time we calculate eight over three then plus two. And it should be 4.7 ohm. Okay, now that's the final answer. Did you do right? Yeah. And then you guys do well, like I, I thought you. Oh, no. Yeah, you are different. I'm also different. <laughs> okay. Yeah, anyway, uh, okay, listen, uh, just, uh, just be aware that uh, some questions, they do only ask you to find out the equivalent resistance, right? And then, then a lot of questions actually you need to find out the current. Okay, just give yourself a challenge. Uh, just make up any uh, voltage. For example, you can make the voltage equals uh, 40, uh, 4.7 volts. Okay, if you make this as uh, 4.7 volt. Now the reason I use this voltage is make the current is going to be 1 amp. The total current is going to be 1 amp. Right, so then the I1 is going to be 1 amp. And the can you find out the current going through each resistance? Yeah, that's going to be the question, right? So, uh, Can you find current 
going through. Resistors. Okay, now this kind of pressure is going to be uh, something you should have been able to do. Okay, 